riddle me this. What if latkes were cookies? Today's fake little recipe is the answer and it is my new favorite holiday cookie for the winter. The only ingredients you'll need are sweetened condensed milk, butter, an egg, and potato chips. So I've melted half a stick of butter. Whether it is unsalted or salted is up to you. I went with salted because I really like leaning into the savory, salty, sweet element here. That kind of contrast, it kind of makes your head go like, whoa. But the potato chips are already salted. So if you are someone who is sensitive to salt or you don't really like super salty sweets, use unsalted. You could always sprinkle on a little at the end if you think it needs it. We are going for 234, oh shit, now I just went over. <gasps> We're going for 234 grams, three quarters of a cup. I like weighing it here. It's very sticky. You can use a measuring cup. I find this a little bit easier going directly into our bowl. And then I'm just gonna stir in our melted butter. So when I started recipe developing these, what if latkes were cookies, cookies, I was using fresh potatoes, just like you would with latkes, and it was going really, really badly. Like I was shredding them, you know, with a grater, just like my mom does for Hanukkah, and they were awful, and I was getting really discouraged, and I thought like, okay, I just, maybe latkes can't be cookies. Like maybe they're not supposed to be cookies. The real aha moment came when I switched from fresh potatoes, stopped taking it like so literally, and I pivoted to a like a coconut macaroon template, which is another favorite Jewish cookie in my family. I riffed on Danielle Kartz's Genius Coconut Macaroons, which are a little bit different than the coconut macaroons my grandma would make. They use sweetened condensed milk and melted butter and they get really custardy and delicious. But instead of using shredded coconut, we are using smashed potato chips. So the cookie is mostly potato chips, mostly potato, just like a latke, but there's like a little bit of sweetness binding it all together. This is it. This is most of our cookie batter. All that's left is to dump in an entire bag of potato chips. I have an eight and a half ounce bag. You wanna get a style that is crinkly and wavy. Those like really thin, shattery potato chips are great, but not here. This is not the right time for that. Save that for a martini after work. You want something sturdier here that can hold up to all the mixing. So I am going to just crumble in. You don't want them to be shattered and they don't have to be perfectly even. We're just going for chunks, kind of like coconut flakes. Perfect. Our cookie batter dough, whatever you want to call it, is all ready. At this point, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. I know most cookie recipes tell you to heat the oven as the first step and then work on your dough. We flipped it here on purpose. This gives the chance for the cookie dough to kind of um, get to know itself and come together a little bit more. It'll be a lot easier to scoop it if it gets that like 10, 15 minutes to sit while the oven heats up. So it's gonna seem like these are not holding together. That's totally okay. In the oven, it's all gonna come together. They will end up as gorgeous cookies that are not falling apart like they are right now. Okay. 
These are gonna bake for 12 to 14 minutes until the edges are deeply golden brown and some spots on the top are starting to char a little bit. This is a perfect time to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can make more fun desserts together. Our cookies are completely cool. These are not cookies that you want to eat warm. You want to let them set so you get that crunchy crust and that slightly tender middle. You can see how gorgeous they are. Mm. These are so weird. And I mean that in the kindest way. It has a deep, awesome potato flavor. And because they're potato chips, it has the same fried potato vibe as a classic Lodka. But then it takes a really weird turn and it ends up custardy and sweet and buttery. It is the perfect holiday cookie. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about these. And I will see you soon for another Big Little Recipe.